my favorite. My, what's my next favorite topic? <laughs> uh, were the were the viewers right about the John Campia show? John Campia has made many changes to the channel in recent months, announcing contests, ending collaborations, ending live streams, creating paywalls, and officially becoming a podcast. We've heard from many current and former followers saying that the changes were too all over the place, and eventually he'll go back to the way it was and pretend nothing has happened. Do you think they're right? Yes. <laughs> Most of you guys on this channel said, said this, that he'll, he'll go back. He'll go back to uh, doing uh, the show again. Mostly, a lot of you guys were like, I don't care if he goes back or, or not, if, he's, if he puts it back from, from the paywall or not. If Robert Meyer Burnett isn't there, I'm not there. But then little by little, what, what started to happen? Uh, it went, so, uh, you know what, let me, let me go full mass here. Let me, let's, let's break it down. Here we go. First thing that happened, so contest was announced. Uh, then Robert met, uh, leaves the show uh, from full time to part time. Then he pretty much leaves pretty much all together. The show then be uh, goes behind a paywall. The show then is uh, officially not a YouTube channel uh, show. It's now just a podcast. You can only get it on Spotify, uh, which didn't make sense uh, later because you're, you're both charging your channel members to watch it live, and then you're going to upload it for free on, on Spotify anyway. It, it didn't matter if it was on YouTube or not. It was, it was a, weir a little a weird time. Then the contest was canceled without even really being mentioned. Uh, then later on, the show is back on YouTube. No paywall. And then Robert Meyer Burnett returns, seemingly returns, on Wednesdays. The days that Chris Carr is, uh, isn't there. And I don't know if Robert Meyer, it was what, two weeks in a row, I think? It was, I think, maybe it was just one week. Maybe I think it was just last week. But it seemed like all that criticism of, you know, he doesn't listen to the fans and all that stuff. It, it seems like, I don't know. I, my, my whole thing about it was I think he was, he hit a wall and it was probably like a burnout kind of a thing. He wanted to implement some changes. His official statement was that he wanted to dial down production. And I criticized a little bit. The only, <laughs> the only thing I could see the difference from the way he was doing the show before. And I'm just, and this is just, a, I'm just being a little funny here because I don't really know how much is on his on his plate on a day-to-day -day basis but i was like the only thing the only difference looked like was what was displayed on that damn tv behind them that seemed like the only difference you're not putting any production on, on that so i'm like but the show to me for me for me looked for exactly me. the same but instead of starting it the day before working throughout the night and then waking up and trying to finish up the the, the, the show we wake up at nine o'clock and we don't have all this stuff on our plate but Somebody else on the channel was like, on our channel was like, the only thing that's different is that damn camera isn't panning around them anymore. I'm like, yes, it is. It's still there. Like, <laughs> like, like everybody was coming up with their own shit. I, I, the only difference I saw was the TV behind them. I just look at it like, um, you know, when you watch your your sports and you have your favorite team brum, 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 brum. and they're they've been sucking for a long time. That's what she said. And your armchair coaching. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that coach never like all of all the fans are at home going, take him, take that player out, yeah. put this one in. They you never listen. God. We need all new, you know, <laughs> offensive line, defensive yeah. line. They they never do what yeah. we want. Okay, well yeah, because you're at home and you're armchair. You're at coaching. home. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> um, I'm not in def the fair weather in, fans. I'm not in defense or support. I I I don't watch the John Campion show, but it's his show. I make her listen to the John Campion uh, show when we make love. <laughs> <laughs> he clearly has his own roadmap or yeah. whatever that he is wanting to follow and do. Yeah. And it's never going to be what everybody sitting at home wants. Yeah. He's, he said that before. Any, he's, he's always, he always kind of made fun of his own followers. Any little change I make, fans start freaking out. I move this TV from the left to the right. Why the fuck did you move the TV? I don't like that, you know. It, it, I don't gotta admit, it's true. It is true. I mean, you're always it's, you're you, always gonna have. It's too long. It's too short. That's what she said. <laughs> put it back like this. Oh whatever. yeah. Wow. You no. You, okay. Now you did that one on purpose. You did that. Okay. No. But she said that last one on purpose, knowing that I was gonna. That's what she said. That. Shit. <laughs> but, but you're right. I agree. I mean, you don't know that. I mean, 
Like, for example, you bought a new piece of equipment that nobody can really see. The Ultra Vibe Pleasure 2000? That is supposed to make it easier for you to do the show. Who knows? He may have got some new equipment that now makes it easier so he can go back to doing the show pretty much exactly the way it was before. But yet it's easier for him because we can't see behind the scenes no. that he did some changes that make it easier. BS, no. <laughs> you guys were right. You called it in our <laughs> comment section. You guys kept saying, he's going, watch. The show is not the same without Rob. Rob comes back. The show is going back. It's, it's gonna, he's going to push it out. My, my theory on it was that he, just like what you said, I think, I think that he needed some time off from doing it. He wanted to probably make these changes. He knew that uh, he's he's used to his fans responding badly to changes. So he'll feed it to people uh, in weird ways. Sometimes he won't say anything at all. The, 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 the sponsorship thing, he didn't even announce that he wasn't doing it anymore on the John Campion show. He just, during a We Got Your Mail, oh yeah, I ain't doing that no more. <laughs> and the fans were like, really? <laughs> That's how you tell us? So it's like the way you say, it's like it's, it's, he's in a symbiotic, like, you know, toxic boyfriend, girlfriend kind of relationship with his with, with his uh, critics and detractors, uh, with the John can't be exposed motherfuckers, those guys, and uh, yeah, any little any little thing now, it's like everybody uh, loses their mind. I felt like he wanted to implement a bunch of changes. He knew that it was a bunch of stuff that he announced that he didn't want to do anymore, or felt like it wasn't the, uh, that he he it made sense. That, uh, a week ago, then a week later, it don't make no sense no more. And he's like, oh, shit. I, I already know how they're, they're going to respond to this. So, you know what? Let me just do it all at the same time. And because it was the first time he's ever, like, hit back to back. It was some jam from January, February, March, April, May. It was just boom, 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 boom. And people were like, you're destroying your show. You Don't bring back Rob. I'm never going to watch uh, again. Uh, and a lot of people started, he started losing followers, like lost a, like a thousand, uh, uh, there, our views went up for a couple of weeks. People were liking us, uh, uh, then, then, then they realized that my punchable face was not uh, what they wanted. They stopped again. It's gone back down again. What the fuck? Uh, but it was a fun ride, but it's cause it's not called the Chris Fagan show. It's not called the Chris Fagan. It's the day to day pop culture entertainment movie rundown. Cause that's what we do <laughs> from day, if, especially when school starts, we're going to be doing Monday through, through Friday. We're going to from day to day, we're going to talk about pop culture, entertainment news and movies, and we're going to run it down. So it's the day to day pop culture, entertainment movie news rundown. Get used to it, but it's just called the rundown. I'm just, uh, I'm just, rule that cannot be broken can be bent but yeah that's it was it was funny that but most of you guys were right y'all were like oh no no oh yeah he's gonna it'll it'll, it'll he'll bring back rob he'll he'll do it uh he'll he's gonna fire next uh no chris is on vacation now i'm sure maybe rob will fill in for those uh days or, or whatnot i mean everybody's just leaving you know he fired him he's he, he did this he did that nine times out of ten the theories aren't real but the ones that you guys did predict were fun. Y'all were like, no, he'll, one, one guy was in the comment section was totally uh, chill about it. it he'll, it'll be back. That paywall shit ain't gonna last. I give it two months. And pretty much some, it was like a lot of people in our comment section was, was saying that they predicted Rob would be back. They predicted uh, the paywall thing was just uh, a stupid thing that wasn't gonna last. It was gonna, he was gonna lose followers. He was. You guys really, that's why, like I said, that's why it's called the rundown. Yo, you guys ran it down. One, one of, I can't remember the guy's name, but one of you dudes were like a straight up fortune teller. First, he's going to do this. Then he's going to do this. Then da, 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 and it was probably just because he just needed to chill and needed a break. You, and you 100% and you called it. I, I think I have uh, one of the messages pulled up. I'll pull it up uh, later. But, but yeah, it seems like, yeah, the show is back from being behind the paywall. It's back on, it's not live on YouTube. He's pretty, that that seems to be another thing besides I make, I'm make making fun of like the TV. And I shouldn't uh, joke about that, that doing the TV thing is uh, behind him takes up a lot of time because I couldn't even get ours to fucking work today. <laughs> Scrambling, try, I couldn't even get him to work. Look, the one behind Joy is not, it's, it's, it's rolling Roku. And I couldn't get this one to work. The, the, so, so maybe it does take up so much time i don't know maybe it does maybe it doesn't 
Uh, no, no, no. I, but I'm just glad the show's back. It's not live. I miss it being live. I can't do the channel member thing anymore. And a lot of people were saying what I was saying, too, that uh, I'm, I think I've been blocked. I can't, I can't donate. I can't, I can't send this. In, uh, you know. So maybe it was just one big purge. Maybe it was a mental and subscripturally purged. No, he did tell us. He said, if you're one of those, everything is woke and I hate the mermaid if she's black, then, then get off my bed. And then a thousand people left. <laughs> so maybe, maybe it was all by design. The brilliance of John Campion lives <laughs> on, baby. That's from the Chris Fagan show to the John Campion show. I don't know. Uh, did, I, did I go full mass? Did I? Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, like, and comment your thoughts on this topic or any topics that you think that we should talk about in upcoming videos. Also, you can follow us at T3 Medias on Instagram, Twitch, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, and we also have a T3 Media Studios podcast where we post our movie reviews and episodes of The Rundown. Till next time, guys.